Hey everyone, Cody here, and I'm just going to make a real quick video on the type of paper that I recommend for using uh, for acrylic paints. Uh, so if you're going to do abstract paintings or just acrylic paintings in general, um, what kind of paper I recommend. Now, I've talked about this off and on, but I'm, like I said, I, I, I figured I'd just do a real quick video on the paper specifically. So here's the three types that I have used, and... What I'm going to recommend, just right, I'll cut right to the chase, is, is acrylic paper. Now, the problem is, at least for me, is that buying big sheets of acrylic paper is kind of hard to come by unless I do it online. But from a local craft store, they don't get much bigger than this. So that's why I don't tend to buy the acrylic paper because it doesn't come any bigger than that. So I've used watercolor paper in the past because the sheets are much bigger. However, I'm going to go over real quick the differences. So here we've got the three. We've got acrylic, mixed media, and watercolor. Um, mostly I had watercolor because when I first started, I bought a bunch of these packets because they were on sale. Um, these packs of paper, these pads. And so that's why I tend to use the watercolor paper because I, I just have so much of it from when I first started um, that that's what I continue to use. Not what I, not necessarily what I recommend. I just have a bunch of it. Okay. Now I want to go over it real quick. The, the weights. Okay. So if you look here on the watercolor paper, the weight is 140. That's like how thick the paper is. Um, and then for the mixed meat, it's the same, right? It's 140. However, if you go to acrylic, you can see that it's 246. So it's not quite double, but uh, pretty close to it. And if we uh, if we kind of open these up, um, you, I want to show you real quick the, the texture difference of the paper as well. Okay, so it's it might be a little hard to see. But if you look, you can see kind of the the weave almost, almost like you would on canvas, right? So it's 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 almost woven, and uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but like there's no like flap, so you can hear that this makes like this little wavy warbling noise. But this doesn't do that because it's so thick. But it also has the weave. If you look on the uh, mixed media paper, it's actually pretty smooth, and then. The watercolor paper actually has like little waves in it, and that's to absorb the water if you're doing watercolor paintings. So it, that it kind of like spreads the water out to make those cool uh, designs that you see in watercolor paintings. So the texture difference is part of it, but also the thickness. So the thickness uh, makes a big difference because I've talked about it in my videos. The watercolor paper that I tend to use, it, it curls when I put the paint on it because the paint is so heavy that it, it warps the paper. Well, the acrylic paper doesn't really do that as much. It does it just a little bit, but not but not a lot. It's because it's meant for that. But these other ones are thinner, so they start to kind of curl. Um, also, the little texture of the paper makes a huge difference too on how it absorbs the water or the moisture and um, how it handles you know all that paint. So you can get away with something like this. You can get away with mixed media or even watercolor paper. Again, it's not necessarily what I recommend. There's a reason why acrylic paper is called acrylic paper because it's it's meant for that. It's meant for the weight of that kind of paint. So this is what I ultimately re recommend. Like I said, you can kind of use whatever you want to get away with it. You could flatten those paintings out later. That's kind of what I do. Um, but that's, that's what I recommend. So it doesn't really matter the brand, um, whether it's Strathmore, Can Canson, whatever you want to use. Um, but like I, I've talked about, there's a brand called Arches, A-R-C-H-E-S. I ultimately recommend that if you can afford it because it's really, really good paper. However, again, it's it's kind of expensive. So if you don't want to go that route, probably just stick with one of these brands, the Strathmore Canson, something like that. And if you haven't seen Canson, I'll just show you what that one looks like. So that's, this is Canson. Um, and it's it's pretty much the same thing, you know. It's 140 weight uh, paper, but you can see that you know this is bigger than that, and this is about the size that it caps on. So, um, one thing you can also try is there's there's canvas paper as well, and I I've only used canvas sheets a couple of times, so I couldn't give you a honest recommendation on it. But it's it's definitely something you could also try is canvas paper. Um, because again, that's also made for, for paint. So anyways, that's it. Just thought I'd give you a quick um, 
update on that because I, I got asked that a lot. So, um, yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be a painting video.